name is Sanbrita Mandal. I'm the clinical optometrist and director of low vision services at UW Health Eye Clinics and the Department of Ophthalmology and Vision Sciences. I am excited to announce that we are now in our new low vision pods where we have two long exam lanes, 17 feet long, as well as social worker service full time on our clinic days and we are going to be starting our construction on the rehabilitation center to be able to provide services through low vision occupational therapy. We have uh, quite a few research projects going on. We are currently, we have applied for IRB approval um, to start our Wisconsin Low Vision Data Repository. And we decided on the acronym WILVR. Um, W-I-L-V-R and we are currently waiting for approval and once that's set up our project manager in the clinical eye research unit Bonnie Burgess she'll help us recruit patients um, with any kind of vision loss who are interested in participating in future studies um, involving new research in low vision technology equipment um, or also in epidemiologic research on um, observing improvement in quality of life through low vision services. They are more than welcome to contact us and sign up, but when you're in clinic and seeing us for a visit, um, we might talk to you about that to see if you're interested. We have another research going on where we're trying to figure out where the gaps are in providing low vision services in our community and our state. And we're gonna start with Dane County because that's where we're mainly located and the majority of our patients are present. And we want to involve more stakeholders in terms of low vision providers in our community. Um, that could be doctors, low vision therapists, orientation mobility specialists. And we're trying to get a sense of how we can fill those gaps for services so that people are able to receive timely referrals as well as get the proper low vision access and time from the low vision specialist that they need to continue being independent. So this is an ongoing project. Um, it's probably going to take multiple years. Another project that we do involves the Department of Ophthalmology and Vision Sciences as well as the Computer Science Department is working on uh, extended reality, virtual reality, augmented reality software geared towards people with a visual impairment to improve their daily activities and quality of life. Some of you may have already participated in our research projects. We had over the summer, we had a kitchen study where you observed people cooking and where they had issues uh, because of their vision loss in cooking. And currently my collaborator is working on technology and how to help them with that. So in terms of uh, virtual reality technology, all the data is from people with regular vision. But if we want to apply this technology to people with a visual impairment, we need to have this software be able to program and identify how people with visual impairment see. And sometimes you might not be looking directly at an object to see it clearly. You might be using your eccentric viewing and seeing it a little off-center. The system is learning by observing uh, people with visual impairment especially central vision impairment on how they're using their vision to view things easier. And that will be compiled, for, compiled into future research that we plan to use in creating VR headsets geared towards low vision. 